Please stand and remove your hats for our national anthem. Please stand and remove your hats for our national anthem. Please remain standing for the invocation, which will be given by Reverend Billy Bernhard. Let us pause for a moment of prayer and reflection. Almighty God, Father, we thank you for the minds and hearts of everybody here today, the drive, the tenacity, the endurance required to finish the season well did not go unnoticed. We thank you for the support of professors friends, and family to reach this point. Their success has been a team sport, and we're grateful for those that they were able to lean on. Whether it be history, biology, criminal justice, mathematics, or many other majors represented here, we pray that they are a blessing to those around them. May the blood, sweat, and tears may not be in vain, but produce long-lasting change in our society. May lives be touched because they have said yes to meet the dire needs in our cities, our country, and our world. We know that these needs do not always have simple solutions, but we trust that you will provide strategy, networks, and compassion to get the job done. We ask that when fr frustrations rise up, confusion settles in, and funding runs out, that you would remind us of the bigger picture, that you are always with us. May we always be available to try again, to research more, and to rest when needed. As we aim for excellence and impact, may we not neglect our own health as well. We ask that you would pre preserve us in joy, pa peace, patience, and excitement for the road that lies ahead. Use every person represented here. Use them to be your hands and feet, and may passion drive them to continue under all circumstances. We thank you for being with us now and forever. Amen. Welcome, and please be seated. Please welcome the Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Kelly Joyce. Welcome, everyone. Provost Jensen, Provost Paul Jensen, honored guests and members of the class of 2022 and your friends and family, good afternoon and welcome. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Arts and Sciences, I want to share how overjoyed we are to gather in person for the first time in three years and to celebrate and honor our graduates. Completing a degree, a bachelor's, a master's, or a doctorate is a challenging endeavor in the best of times. To do so under the circumstances of the past two years is something else entirely. For so long, you had to make do without some of the most meaningful basics that helped to define the college experience. Library visits were out. 
No meeting friends for coffee. Gathering with other students for study sessions was a no-go. On the plus side, my faculty colleagues and I got to meet many of your cats and dogs over Zoom. In the College of Arts and Sciences, we like to say that the world won't wait. And neither will we. How vividly these words have been borne out. When COVID-19 caused a radical shift in teaching and learning modalities, you responded with grit and grace. Displaying the college's trademark determination to effect change where it matters most, you supplemented your coursework with co-ops, research, and volunteer opportunities that address the pandemic head on. As graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences, you are fully prepared not merely, not merely to succeed in this changing world, but to change it for the better. Through your coursework, you have learned skills such as critical thinking, adaptability, and empathy. Through your co-ops, you gained professionalism and a unique understanding of what it means to succeed in the workplace. Some of you worked on the front line in response to the pandemic in your co-ops. You processed test results in labs, helped patients and their families in healthcare settings. Through your community-based learning courses, you opened your minds and hearts and immersed yourself in the life and work of the people we are fortunate to call neighbors. Through your research, you've already begun seeking solutions to our most pressing issues, including those that have plagued us over the last year plus. All of these uniquely Drexel experiences combine to produce a vitality, a vitally necessary skill set and worldview. In the pursuit of a more just society, one that values and respects all people, that welcomes diversity, pursues equality, and fights for inclusion, we need you. Whether you are entering the workforce, heading to graduate or professional school, advancing your career, or preparing to volunteer, I urge you to bring to bear your resilience, your compassion, and talent to build a better world. The great writer Maya Angelou said, you can only become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off of you. Our eyes are on you, class of 2020. Congratulations and best of luck. It is my pleasure to introduce my colleague, Nomi Eve, the founding director of our MFA in Creative Writing program, who will introduce our student speaker. I am here today to proudly and humbly introduce Janine Cook, who is graduating with a Master of Fine Arts degree in Creative Writing. Janine embodies everything we hope that our Drexel graduate students will be. She is an activist artist, a civically engaged entrepreneur, and a politically savvy organizer who breaks down barriers while honoring historic foremothers. She is kind, community-minded, and cares deeply about her fellow students. Janine Cook forges her own multidisciplinary path. While at Drexel, she has not only made tremendous headway on an astonishingly written memoir, but she has also opened and sustained an internationally recognized independent bookstore during a global pandemic. And if that were not enough, she has also proposed to Congress a new federal holiday in honor of Harriet Tubman. And if that weren't enough, she has also put countless books in the hands of activists and protesters, sharing the written history of black political thought with a new generation, even as streets burned and hearts ignited. There, these are only a few of her many accomplishments. Janine's bookstore is also an art gallery. Her own writing is as poetic as it is political, and her marketing savvy is truly lightning in a bottle. 
our LeBeau graduates should pay attention. They could learn a thing or two. Janine is brave, brilliant, and iconoclastic. Her flair for publicity has led to features in the New York Times, Oprah Magazine, The Kelly Clarkson Show, and many other national and international features in magazines and newspapers. One of my favorite of Janine's many accomplishments is her partnership with the historic Fletcher Street Stables, which enabled her to deliver books to children in the city on horseback, thus sparking in kids a sense of joy and wonder for reading. Another of my favorites is her commitment to mentoring youth conductors. These teenagers intern at Janine's bookstore and help her run her many programs aimed at breaking down barriers and lifting up people from marginalized communities. Janine teaches everyone around her by the enormous power of her example. It is inspiring to imagine the ripple effect of her youth conductor program. Surely, in years to come, we will see these young people starting businesses of their own, running for office, nourishing and sustaining their own communities, and creating meaningful civic change because Janine Cook provided an opportunity for them to find a place of belonging and purpose in her warm, vibrant orbit. Janine Cook honors Drexel by having come through us and has changed us by virtue of her boundless creativity and deep commitment to leaving this world better than she finds it. Teaching and learning from Janine has been one of the great honors of my life. And now I am thrilled to ask you to join me in welcoming Janine Cook as our COAS graduate student speaker today. Okay, so my speech is interactive, so I'm gonna need interactions, okay? All right, good. I hear a little interaction, if you say, yeah, yeah, okay, just so that I know we're all here together. Okay, so back in February 2022 for Black History Month, I decided to take a vow of silence. From sun up to sundown, I didn't check emails, I put my devices away, uh, no music, couldn't yell to wake up my son in the morning, no friendly chit chat with my neighbors, no witty tweets, uh, but also, and most importantly, I had to just keep my mouth shut. A month in silence would prove to be quite challenging as I am a shopkeeper at two local bookshops. Harriet's Bookshop in Fishtown, is Fishtown in the house? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> and, Ida's Bookshop in Collingswood, New Jersey. Uh, and just a hand if you shop local. Yes, yes, thank you. So that's gonna be hard to do a month in silence. I had a customer who was just like, why would you choose to take your month of silence in February? You know everyone's gonna be calling you, everyone's gonna want you on panels and reviews. You know, you, you have Harriet's Bookshop and Ida's Bookshop. And what I said to that customer in my mind, cause I couldn't speak, was because I have the right to remain silent. That is my offering to you, the class of 2022. So I learned three really important things while I spent that month in silence. Uh, and the first one was I had to relearn how to listen to myself. Without realizing it, the daily effects of notifications and DMs, emails, marketing, scrolling, scrolling, spying on exes, dance videos, uh, all of that, it was just like, and all of those opinions, and I, it, it, was, it had me on tilt and I didn't realize it. I didn't realize that that had put a barrier between my voice listening to myself. My month in silence came with a renewed sense of calm. I found stillness. It had been snatched from right under my nose and it had been replaced with a bunch of memes. For the first time in years, thanks to quiet stillness, I was napping again. I hadn't, I hadn't napped in like 20 years. 
And I was also dreaming again. I realized that I had stopped dreaming. I wasn't dreaming at night. And then I started flying in my dreams. And I was like, oh, wow, like all of this as a result of just being in that still quietness. I started to journal again because I could hear my own thoughts. I read and I read and I read without interruption because that's what my body was asking for. So I'm gonna ask you all to put one of your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in and we're gonna hold it for 10. Thank you. When you are in those moments of silence, it is a great opportunity to listen for what your body is asking you for. My next lesson in listening during my vow of silence was relearning how to listen to my friends. What I realized is that I, wasn't actually, I would be listening but not listening all the time. I was also always doing something else. And in the silence, not being able to speak meant hearing my friends say so many things. Like, I could hear them say that they were hurting. I could hear them say that they were self-medicating. I could hear friends saying, uh, you know, that they, had, they were considering suicide. And these are things that they might have been saying all the time, but I just was like, again, so much clutter, noise. I even heard my friend Tony, he'd found out recently that his student loans were from a predatory lender that his low credit score was affecting his ability to get housing, that he'd have to pay an additional few hundred dollars to even get started holding the predatory lender accountable. In the meantime, he's battling depression, health issues, homelessness. When you can't speak, people will just share, share, share. Tears welled up in his eyes as he shared. Without being able to respond in words, I had to be present to Tony, not offer my opinion, not give him my worries, but to just listen. So I'm gonna ask you to turn to one of your neighbors. And again, for 10 seconds this time, you're just going to look that neighbor in the eye. This might not be the most comfortable thing, <laughs> but it is safe. <laughs> and it speaks, it speaks. You see, even the chatter, right? It speaks to our discomfort with just looking at one another in the eye sometime. And so for 10 seconds, we'll do the same thing. Just give that person some eye contact and attempt to listen. Thank you. Can you thank that person for sharing? Yeah. Now, that same person, that same person. So one of the, the principles by which we operate Harriet's Bookshop and Ida's Bookshop, and, and really my life, is a principle that I learned when I was in West Africa, which is called Ubuntu. And I'm gonna invite you to repeat after me, looking at that same neighbor, and it says, I am, we'll try that again. I am, I am. because you are, and you, are and you are, because I am. Thank you. Finally, this is the third lesson. While I learned a lot of lessons in the silence, most importantly, I learned to listen to my ancestors. For some, this will feel like a foreign concept, but in my tradition, that is a part of how we live. Everything that ever was or ever will be is right here, right now, inside of you and inside of me. And that's why I bring up my ancestors. So, in the silence, I heard from Harriet, who said, prepare a place for people, Janine. Ida said, remind folks to write, Janine. Zora said, be unapologetic, Janine. Octavia said, God is changed, Janine. From Tony, she said, if you wanna fly, you gotta give up the shit that weighs you down, Janine. And though this ain't the first time that I heard them speak, it was so clear during the silence. An ancestor could be someone like my great-grandmother, Lula Stiles, who said, they made me eat out of a pig trough, Janine. Make it right, Janine. In this moment, I am making space for the lives that have been taken and the lives that have gone before us. 
So for this last 10 seconds, I invite you to think of an ancestor, someone that may be close to you, or a family member, or it could be a historical figure, someone whose shoulders you consider yourself standing upon. And at the, at the end of the 10 seconds, I'm gonna invite you to just call out that person's name. So take your 10 seconds to think about who your ancestor will be. And now I invite you to call on their name. One, two, three. Thank you. My friends, my family, the class of 2022, I love you. I am listening to you. I am sitting in the stillness with you and for you. And this is my gift to you. You have the right to remain silent. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful remarks, Janine, and congratulations on your graduation. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Scott Warnock to acknowledge special student recognitions. Greetings. We want to acknowledge those students who have received special recognition from the university. In the spirit of honoring exceptional academic achievement, we wish to recognize our undergraduate students here who have completed their degree with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. So I'd like to have these students each come forward. I'm going to call their name. Nicholas DeFilippis. Nila Kaira Paharan. <laughs> Stephen Chang. <laughs> Michael Chang. Anjuli Pruden. <laughs> and Audrey Coffey. Congratulations to all of you. It's an incredible achievement. I'd like to further recognize those undergraduate students who've demonstrated outstanding academic achievement here at Drexel as reflected in outstanding final grade point averages. Students who graduate with a GPA between 3.5 and 3.7 are designated cum laude or with honor. Will cum laude graduates please stand? Those graduating, you can actually all stay standing if you like during this, I guess. Those graduating with a GPA between 3.7 and 3.9 are designated magna cum laude or with outstanding honor. Will our magna cum laude graduates please stand?
and students graduating with a GPA of 3.9 or higher are designated summa cum laude or with highest honor. Will our summa cum laude graduates please stand? Congratulations to all of you. In the spirit of honoring exceptional academic achievement, we wish, we wish to recognize the graduate students who received an award from the Graduate College. I'd like to ask Rebecca Jane Crochair to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Rebecca Jane Crochair has been awarded the Drexel University Graduate College Outstanding Dissertation Award. Congratulations. I'd like to ask Dominic J. Macaluso to stand and be recognized. Woo! Dominic J. Macaluso has been awarded the Drexel University Graduate College Teaching Assistant Excellence Award. I would like to ask Janine Cook to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Janine Cook has been awarded the Drexel University Graduate College Social Change Award for Equity. Congratulations to all of you. I'm now delighted to introduce Dr. Jayatri Das, who will deliver this year's keynote address. As chief bioscientist at the Franklin Institute, Dr. Das helps us understand ourselves. How do our brains work? How do our neighborhoods affect our health? How will new technologies change our future? As a talented, engaging science communicator, she brings us all into the conversation. Dr. Das has led exhibit development of both Your Brain, a national award-winning exhibit about the neuroscience and psychology of the human brain, and Sports Zone. She also leads the Franklin Institute's programming initiatives about material science, nanotechnology, synthetic biology, and other emerging science, other areas of emerging science and their impact on our everyday lives. Dr. Das earned her PhD in ecology and evolutionary biology from Princeton University and conducted postdoctoral research in biology at the University of Pennsylvania. She investigated the biochemical processes that allow living things to adapt to different environments and hunting for wild fruit flies from Florida to Canada along the way. Prior to joining the Franklin Institute, she held a science and technology policy fellowship at the Marion Koshland Science Museum of the National Academy of Sciences in Washington, DC. In 2016, she was honored with the American Alliance of Museums Nancy Hanks Award for Professional Excellence. Dr. Das serves on the board of the STEM Project and is an invited fellow for the Center for Neuroscience and Society at the University of Pennsylvania. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Das. Thank you for the incredible honor of being with you today. As we celebrate everything you've accomplished, we recognize this day as an inflection point in your life. We look back at the challenges that we've faced to be here together for the first time since a pandemic upended the world. We look forward and the uncertainty is both exhilarating and daunting. As the saying goes, the only constant in life is change. About 20 years ago, I was approaching my graduation, wondering what to do with my future with a degree in evolutionary biology. I hadn't decided to study the history of life with any practical application in mind. Little did I know that someday we'd be following evolution in real time as the mutations and genetic variants of a virus influenced decisions we made every day. But what fascinated me then and now was the idea that science could help us understand how things change over time, 
how small forces shape the big world around us, past, present, and future. To be honest, one of the reasons I was drawn to this focus on the small things is because I find it hard to think about the big picture of life. Ten years ago, I couldn't have told you what I was doing today, and today, I can't tell you what I'll be doing ten years from now. Often, it feels like the memory of the past depends on pictures, and my plan for the future is what's written in my calendar, much to my family's dismay when I forget someone's birthday. But what I've discovered is that I'm pretty good at figuring it out today. And that is enough, because our lives are just a series of todays. Today, you'll think of a cool idea. Today, you'll help someone out. Today, you'll have fun. You'll push yourself a little farther. Maybe you'll fail, but you'll learn something new. And you'll try again tomorrow. You do your best one today at a time. And then, at some point, you realize that those small efforts and actions and decisions have made a difference. I may have been particularly suited to a science that studies how changes add up over time. Certainly, the combination of my mindset and my scientific training has shaped my career at the intersection of science and society and the impact that I've made. But I believe there are fundamental elements of science that can inspire each of us to be a change maker, whether you see yourself as a scientist or not. So first, let's think of science as knowledge, what we know about the patterns and phenomena that govern the universe the way we observe that things work in nature. But the more we learn, the more we realize that these rules that we take for granted are just one outcome of countless what-ifs. Scientists can't change the past, but if we ask the right questions, we can find clues about what those alternate directions could be. So be curious. As you think about what lies ahead for you, embrace the unknown. Explore different environments to find where you thrive. What you learn along the way could blaze a trail you never predicted. Second, science is a process, a way of knowing. I see the power of process in our museum every day. We have lots of signs explaining science, but most people don't read them. <laughs> Instead, you play with sand and water to explore erosion. You test a brain illusion with your friend or you work out how to make your hair stand on end with electricity. This process of discovery builds up the foundation for critical thinking, testing assumptions, looking for evidence, making connections, and solving problems as they come. Apply these critical thinking skills that you've developed here at Drexel, and you'll be able to tackle any challenge you find. Third, we say that science is a human endeavor. Science is done by humans for humans, with all the promises and pitfalls that go along with that. I believe at its best, science is a practice in which everyone can participate and from which everyone can benefit. And to accomplish that, whether in science or any other aspect of our society, we must share, collaborate with, and be responsive to our communities and our values. When I lead science communication workshops, we talk a lot about communication as a two-way street. Listen to learn, show up for others, and the relationships you build will take you farther and make change for the better. On any given day, we might feel small, but we are all forces that shape the world around us. Today, I look at you and I'm proud and hopeful proud of the ideas and energy that have sparked your journey in Philadelphia, and hopeful for the change you will bring wherever you go from here. But you have plenty of time to think about that tomorrow. Right now, let's celebrate this amazing today. Thank you and congratulations. On behalf of everyone at the College of Arts and Sciences, I thank you, Dr. Das, for a wonderful talk.
It's now the time you've been waiting for. We're going to individually recognize all of our graduates assembled today. The names of our graduates will be announced by Drs. Ashley Dickinson, Celeste Mann, Michelle Delinsky, and Scott Warnock. They will take turns. Out of respect to all of our graduates, we request that you remain in your seats until all names have been called. Marshals, please escort our doctoral graduates to the stage with their supervising professors to receive their hoods. Dissertation titles and names of supervising professors are available in the commencement program. Young Tech O. Nina Rothstein. <laughs> Dustin Hill. Joseph Fabritius. <laughs> Stephen Scalfoni. Dini. <laughs> Catherine Ann Fioca. Megan Barrett. <laughs> Chelsea Raymond Smith. Gregory Mueller. <laughs> Abdullah Bilal Autundas.
Dominic, John, Macubuso. Alexander Joseph Fioria. Greg Loring Albright. Ray Oshi Mukarji. Leanne Ha. Danielle K. Moyer. Ariana Marie Albanese. Daniel Flack. <laughs> Diane Hannah Dulal. Holly Rose Gerber. <laughs> Jeannie Perry McPhee. Rebecca Jane Crochet. <laughs> Catherine Margaret Stefan. Mary Catherine Martinelli. Congratulations to all of our doctoral graduates. We would now like to recognize our students who are receiving both a bachelor's and a master's degree today. Will you please stand to be recognized? Marshals, will you please escort our master's students to the stage to receive individual recognition? Janine Cook.
Sarah Kennedy Camp, Candice Wynn, Elizabeth Pham, Elena Taylor DeSanto, Alana. Alexa Rhodes. Mary Upjohn. Rosalind Elizabeth Atkinson. Emily Ann McKeon. Victoria Santos. Jocelyn Bala. John Ivey. Samantha Moffitt. Ria Shah. Tayana Simone Taylor. Stuart Pollock. Daniel Sonnenberg. Jeanette Harrison. George McMillan. Anthony Chatfield. Jade Murphy. Rebecca Tittleman. Juliet Del Rio. Sarah Elizabeth Campley. Casey Marie Stellitano. Emily Meros. Tyler Dugan. Jamie Grookett. Kayla Snyder. Maura Ann Morgan. Olivia Gabriel Rios. Stephen Edward McChesney. Carmen Aura Hernandez. Matthew Schaefer. Ashley Rose Knapp. Emma Reverso. Udeze Ashedu. Aliyah Hilma Farm. <laughs> Sophia Brianna Lopes. <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth Rosa.
Olivia Marie Clancy, Leanne Ho, Francesca Sofia Torno Jimenez, Brian Coppinger, Christina Price. Please congratulate all of our master's graduates. And marshals, will you please now escort the bachelor's graduates to the stage for individual recognition. Stephen Chang. Anjali Pradhan. Audrey Coffey. Michael Chang. Nila Kiraparan. Nicholas Ascensio de Filippis. Zachary Smith. Sylvie Cherry. Brian Carpenter. Carpenter. Shruti Patel. Zaina Pasan. Susanna Grace Stoll. Alexander Thaden Felix for Alexand oh, Alexander Thaden Felix. <laughs> Nicholas Yurkeba. Brundij. Ronald Brundij. <laughs> Amira Siders. Leigh Tran. Jane Janet Ansa. <laughs> Kelly Mensa Odoru. <laughs> Elena Spakey. Medina Talebi. Malcolm Tyler Kojo Bansa. Ejiro Ogagan. Joyce Juanyi Kim. Renisha McKenzie. Claire Yusai. Brianna Vasquez. Brianna Dirienso. Alexandra Pitts. <laughs> Eleanor Stewart Wilcom. Yeah. Hanley Higgins. Yeah. Crystal Jones. Yeah. Abigail Dupas. Dupes. Dupes. 
Jaren Jacob. <laughs> Julia Newlight. <laughs> Clifton Ford. <laughs> Nick Canusa. <laughs> Sakira Hayes. Mabedi Sanayana. Katherine Kim. Cheyenne Rose Reyes. Navindi Jayarwanda. Gianna Manella. Caitlin Jill Wolfgang. Emily Catherine McCoy. Nicholas Suko. Zachary Goldbaum. Sarah Rose Chintz. Emily Wolf. Clara Rebecca Meskin. Sporthy Dingari. Mary Zhang. Shivershi Shaker. <laughs> Saima Hakim. <laughs> Puvathara Vinuthkunda. <laughs> Abigail McGinley Haas. Violet Jane Flynn. Yeah. Abigail G. Dickerson. Yeah. Jenna Arias. Yeah. Yu Kim Jong. Ian Elvin Gill. Neil Singh Ball. Haider Raya's Verk. Rowan Rogers Ram Chondani. Kyle Thomas McDonald. Inyaki Herrera. Marie Christiana Giolis. Judgey Yasmin Carr. Kimberly Christina Ventura Martinez. <laughs> Megan Nicole Rubino. <laughs> Michaela Lynn Groff. <laughs> Alina Nakvi. Lindsay and Graham. Woo! 
Kevin F. Romine. Victoria Claire Weibel. Jill Regina Weibel. Alexander Scott Manley. Tomas E. Johns III. Maya J. Berkney. Jayla Joel Washington. Sarah Sushant Sawant. Supreet Bodla. Vijay Kumar. Alex Jewel Matthew. Mohammed Soman. Malika Saini. Karisha, Karishma Mona Patel. Rani Patel. Melissa Hoha. Amy Varges. Teha Chalu Chalaro. Roberta Enishor. Victoria Holochik. Corinne McCurley. Matei Yurik. Coltrane Edward James Washington. Morayo Adunajin Lauren Elizabeth Curry Rama Rame Yani Mitra Sydney Denofrio Angela Du Hyung Win. Crystal Lim. Mallory Tochi. Brianna Giselle Nicholas. Dylan Hoagland. Q Trin Anthony Tuan Le Yuki Lam Ryan Doe Camilla Ann Mesha Ariel Vakni Nicholas Robert Barbieri. <laughs> Sophie Grace Radilla. Arafi Pillai. Lincoln Wu. Rajit Kirbaj. 
Anne Marie Gargano, Clayton Francis, Jesse Parks, Sierra Lynn France, Colin Maluski, Lorelai Maria Calvora Anu, Tamia Santiago. Prashana Satya Nason, Robin Ratson, Main Mean Cower, Pooja Bilar. Prachi Gada, Miriam Reed, Jaisal Larry, Ashling Mabel Mensa, Yasmin Kudawar. William David Morani, <laughs> Katerina Evangelo, <laughs> Uma Patel, <laughs> Peter Pichat, <laughs> Nicole Elisi. Mia Bevilacqua. Yeah. Ali Zubik. Yeah. Hannah Nihil. Yeah. Kishana Washington. Yeah. Kayla Bacon. Bridget Keach. Simran Buyan. Sophia Gomez. Boglarka Kearney. Sierra True, Atusa Shoryu, <laughs> Alice Lamb, <laughs> Lucia Vina Lopez, Asini Ariarathna. Christopher Morris, Emma Contreras, Leah Genevieve Condon, Atherva Abunjit Bidaya, Shreyansh Pradhan. Anjani Ravi, Juliana Rudnick, Fatima Zara Elbar, Kelsey Natara Chandran, Hers Sharma. Dennis Rotundi, Rishika Reddy, 
Noah DiPietro. <laughs> Maxwell Wayanecki. <laughs> Christian Stemko. Austin Sloboda. John Abramowitz. Mark William Budd. Allison Rose Graff. Parthna Selesh Patel. Anushka Shukla. Swetha Nandakumar. Unjali Mundayat. Tracy Ann Marcellus. Kaylin Louie. Nisha Vora. Diksha Ujayu. Alexander Fami. Ukil Vingela. Brooke Elizabeth Herring. Sammy Ihab Kalouf. Aiden U. Bettman. Jonah P. Musto. Today, Shanice Gardner. Davida Renee Daniels. Anne Marie Farley. Alyssa Ray Massa. Aaron A. Wright. <laughs> Ashley Marie Champong. <laughs> Tiana Selena Myers. <laughs> Jothi Kulasingham. Summer D. Thompson. <laughs> Haley Marie Ryaf. <laughs> Tiffany Tatiana Ellis. <laughs> Lily Osude Oni. Norwin Hussein Borsha. <laughs> Usal Omir Nasir. <laughs> Sumaya F. Begum. <laughs> Sophie Katrina Gagan. Peter Nicholas Sweeney. <laughs> Mohammed Asim Iqbal. <laughs> Tanisha Shari. <laughs> Shruti Vivek Joshi. <laughs> Rachel.
Renee Ashley Patterson. Dauda Anji. Alexis Janae Brooks Wiley. Akila Chapman. Aiden Patrick Bevelacqua. Emily Rivera Malour. Samantha Lee Snowden. Shannon Elizabeth Boyle. Katarina Celine Hojon. Samantha Alexandria Moslowski. Marie Donnelly. Kevin Zhao. Rue Franchelle Manuel Reyes. Michelle Lau. Emily Johns. Isaiah Nicholas Sieg Siegel. Meredith May Moore. Alexandra Nicole Schneemann. Madeline Campbell. Rasha Jalel. Jessica Hoffman. Olivia Rosenstein. Lucy Sarens Shields. Jared Donahue. Lucy Doran. Michaela Spaventa. Kayasta Shitij. Pedro Antonio Ferreira Frazão. Elena Sargent. Elisa Selami. Gia Marie Bielecki. Caitlin Clifford. Mansi Bahari. Poema Chalkra Barty <laughs> Bailey Carr <laughs> Kate Alexis Wahlberg <laughs> Christine Chi <laughs> Corey Wiener Eugene Kim. Ryan Lee. Chloe Denley. Lauren Tuffy. Jessica Natasha Almiron. Sonia, 
Sonia Angelica Adorno. Hunter Pearson. Olivia Massey. Jenny Boyuntel. Gabri uh, Gabriella Thomas. Sarah Osman. Amy Enzubia Watara. Amy Enzubia Watara. <laughs> Ashley Nathy Chate. Amina Fong. Jackson Harding. Marne Humphrey. Michael Marcioli. Anne Marie Massiello. Sonia Olani. Simran Shamath. Mikola Suntibin Gore. Almas Thanha. Joseph Raja Sekaran. Sanjay George. Brooke Antoloski. Manali Patel. Talbot Stone. Leah Debussy. Christiana Lamb. Tina Hung. Jenny Ni. Nee. Skylar Driscoll. Therese Matthew. Metan Desai. Ivy Steinberg McElroy. Melanie Atina. Sarah Harpster. Ollie Glass. Robert Dukes. Katherine Cunningham. Faith Rogers. Marlene Hersa Wijaya. Jewel Kwong. Michael Bogert. Yeah. Omash Dar Devady. Yeah. Patrick Crane. Yeah. Ethan Connick. Yeah. Cordelia David. Yeah. Tara Feenan. Robert Naylor. Adam Kenichi Ikehara. Nathaniel Santana. Thomas Reese. William J. Kraft.
<laughs> Othan Jamjis. Manjinder Uslati. <laughs> Najia Udin. Jordan Mackenzie Ruffner. Maxwell Okolo. Griffin White. Zachary Grugle. Susie O. Kareem Mohammed. Deanna Sophia Aromando. Scott Shrum. Asia Lachey Williams. Samantha Hilodoro. Simran Ramesh Chitani. Ellen Christy Dong. Mahi Patel. Aliyah Margaret Hilmi. Ariana Arlene Powers. Nishunta Ganguli Gupla Suntharam. Megana Bindigana Vale. Victoria Katina Stavropoulos. Imani Calloway Anus. David James Zorowski. David Joseph Flynn. Gianna Helen Kersey. Aisha Siddiqui. Lam D. Vo. Lynn Dimai Truong. Lucy Lynn. Justin Lucas Cruz. Serena Marie Savage. Felicia Robinson. Nicole Gabriella Ross. Tessa Bundonis. Allison Rebecca Rosenfeld. Olivia May Antonelli. Thomas Henry Atkinson. Jacqueline Rose Bader. Kirsten Wincoop. Emily K. Marlowe. 
Isabella Byrne. Priyanka Shaw. Ashley Grace Nemchikana. Okay. Anna Nicole Kulach. Joseph George Smith, Jr. Robert Evenden. Julie Fucci. Rohan Tadamilia. Zachary George Freihofer. Sahara Patel. Harina Patel. Milu R. Patel. Hannah Dunus. Nishka Seth. Madeline Rose Rodriguez. Serena Eve Hermit. Alexandra Marie George. Merlin Cochini Lazio. Joshua Weisberg. Hazel M. DeQuito. Jordan Allen. Twafig Muhammad. You ready? Okay. Nupalia Duar. Congratulations to all of our bachelor's graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, in this ceremony, we have paid tribute to the graduating class of 2022. Now it's the graduates' turn to salute those who have helped them along the way. I would like the parents, spouses, partners, children, and loved ones of our graduates to please stand so that they may receive the thanks they so richly deserve. members of the class of 2022 to salute their professors and mentors at Drexel University. Will the member I think it shows your enthusiasm. I couldn't even ask them to rise. The faculty, you already started cheering, which is fantastic. So thank you for joining us today. 
we're excited to continue graduation activities tomorrow, Thursday, June 9th, with the university-wide commencement at Citizens Bank Park beginning at 6 p.m., where all degrees will be formally conferred. When our ceremony ends, please stay in your seats until the graduates and stage party have recessed. Once again, congratulations to all the graduates.